Hey guys, thanks for tuning in for this week's Quick Tips from the Boss. We got a special guest, Dusty Cole, one of the top real estate agents. Um, he's with the Dusty Cole team out of Remax in Orange Beach. And we're gonna be talking a little bit about tips on preparing your clients for a home inspection. Well, it's, it's usually the first thing that happens. So I, you know, I prepare the boat, whether I'm working with a buyer or a seller, um, it's just the first, I describe it as a hurdle. You know, it's our first hurdle. And, and usually we try to remove that contingency before any others, um, you know. So I kind of set that in their mindset that you know we have an have an inspection and we have an appraisal are the two main hurdles we have to get to get past. That's right. And um, in the, the inspection comes first. You know. With a buyer, so you're buying a brand new home or you're buying a, mm -hmm. a home that's on the market, and sometimes I have buyers that come in with just different expectations. So some mm -hmm. their their agent sets them up with a, a certain expectation of okay. We're going to ask for the important things or what's important to you. And then we have other buyers that can everything's supposed to be fixed from the right. home inspection. I mean, if, if you're dealing with a resale property, you know, you're going to have a list of items on home inspection. I mean, the home's not new. Even new homes may have a small list. So, um, <laughs> you know, so expect the list, right? So, I mean, I always try to just uh, prepare and say, hey, we're going to ask for what's important to you. But um, if, if the list is lengthy, you know, we, we have better chance in getting the most important items fixed if we only ask for those certain items to be fixed, if that makes sense. That, that um, does. So if we overwhelm the seller, you know, with a, with a laundry list, you know, we, the inspection is the most emotional stage of the transaction once we're under contract. You know, so I always try to manage the emotions the best I can and try to keep everybody level, you know. That's a great way to look at it. Now, how about when you have the selling side of it? So you're you're the listing agent and you're preparing the the, mm -hmm. the seller for the home inspection. Right. Um, we come in, we find some stuff wrong in the home that mm -hmm. maybe has been there for who knows you know years, and they've lived with it. Um, and some of them, I've seen some people that are willing to to fix a certain amount of stuff, and I've seen others that are just kind of stand their ground a little bit and say, you know, no. Yeah, and I think some of that happens in the listing uh, appointment and prior to taking the listing. We, you know, it's good to have an understanding of, of what the seller's um, mindset is in regarding those repairs. You know, so I mean, if the seller knows in the beginning that they can't or won't address those items, you know, then I ensure them that they don't have to. Now, the buyer may not like it, you may lose a sale over it, you know, but you know, I mean, the seller is not. Now, our, our, our purchase agreements do say that all the systems. Um, you have to warrant all the systems, and if you agree to that, your HVAC, your plumbing, um, your hot water heater, and stuff like that, you have to warrant that those work. That's kind of a different scenario. If a seller is willing to address some of those items, I usually say what's reasonable uh, is, is fix the things that don't work. You know, I mean, if something is not functional, maybe we, you know, address those items. That's a great point. As opposed to cosmetic things. Yeah. yeah. So that's a great point. And you know, as I work with a lot of agents out there, I've worked with agents that are brand new, first deals, and some that have been around for a while and do you know, 200 transactions in two years like Dusty mm -hmm. Cole. And you can see the difference in the, the clients when they come through. So mm -hmm. that's why I, was, I thought it'd be cool to do this video and kind of talk you through it. Right. Um, because it seems like that emotional part is probably minimal. You know, it probably doesn't feel like it to you. Um, and a lot of it is because I believe Dusty prepares his clients for those items. So he kind of talks them through it. He gives them them expectations. Mm -hmm. They don't come to the home inspection going, what, what happens next? Right. They know what's happening next. And I think that's an important part of it. And I think also, you know, whenever you deliver the, you know, whenever I deliver the home inspection, you know, with, you know, to the buyer, you know, I kind of say that it's normal to have an emotional response on either side to that, you know, so, you know, let's get past the emotions and let's remember why we're in the in the in the agreement in the beginning. We all want the same thing. You know, we all want the sale to happen. Um, you know, so how can we work together uh, to make both parties happy? So, some great tips from Dusty Cole for some of the agents out there on how to um, manage through that process. Mm -hmm. um, and again, appreciate you coming on. Okay. And tune in next week for another episode of Quick Tips from the Boss. Nice.